The slivering technique is one of the most important parts of preparing graphs. So, to, to have great graphs, we need to have a great slivering. And to do that, we have to keep the Fulipa units intact. When we see the donut tree, we can easily find diagonal lines that is the arrangement of the Fulipa units into the hair. So, that way, if we, if we, can, if we can find this, these lines, it's going to be easier to prepare intact Fulipa units. Intact Fulipa units means um, keeping the two and three and four hair grass Fulipa units intact instead of creating sub follicular units. We can have two, uh, a four hair follicular unit that is in fact two plus two very close together. But and if we I split just... that four hair follicular units, two and two, we're going to have two follicular units instead of one four hair. So we are decreasing density, like here, like here. We can see two follicular units close together. In fact, there's a follicular grouping. If we split them, instead of follicular grouping, we're going to have two follicular units, and we don't want that. That way we can have dense packing, a lot of three and fours, and sometimes four hairs follicular unit, and we can place them in the small incisions, and we can increase hair density, it's because we don't need just graph density, but we need hair density. So that's the best way to increase hair density. Keep the follicular units intact. So when you are doing slivering, you have to search for the intact follicular units, keep them together, and follow the lines in between. That way, the slivering technique is going to be much easier and less risky to damage the follicular units going to have a better grass survival and more density recipient size.